Hey guys, welcome to another episode on Style 101. Today you'll learn about minimal, casual, and dandy looks, which are the most common outfits for men. If you saw the first episode and you came to learn more, that's awesome. I really appreciate your time. And if you haven't already, make sure to check it out either before or after this video. From my experience, these are the outfits that girls like the most simply because it's a safe choice. As always, if you're not sure which style to build, leave a comment below or send me an email and I'll try to give some recommendations based on your body type. So the first style that I prepared is minimal looks and this is how I got into fashion. The reason why I started with minimal looks is because it's the most cost effective style out of all. You don't have to start with designer brands, not that any other looks have to, but minimal looks like there's no emphasis on branding. So you can essentially wear the same clothes for a couple of years. For example, let's say you bought this shirt jacket here. You can easily wear this for next year and even next next year. Like there's not much trend change for minimal looks. So that's a huge advantage for people who want to spend less and look good because honestly, like to build a proper closet, you need a couple thousand dollars. And I'm not talking about building with designer clothes, like just with Topman and Zara price, like it adds up to a couple thousand dollars. So that's a big chunk of money. And by going with minimal looks, you won't have to build your closet every year. So let's look at some examples. The first example here, he's just wearing white t-shirt with beige pants. So you're probably wondering, I have these at home, but why don't I look good as him? So there are two main reasons. First of all, his hairstyle is also minimal. <laughs> he shaved his head so that he can look as minimal as possible. And secondly, he has a theme. What I mean by that is he's going for minimal theme. So he doesn't have any logos. He doesn't have any details. And all of his clothing share the same texture and feel to it. That's the rule of thumb for minimal looks. You're going to focus on the texture and fit and the colors. And then in terms of color palette, he's going with white, beige, and lighter beige. This is also part of the theme that he's keeping. Because he's keeping everything in the beige tone, it looks perfect. However, if he just wore like triple S's or Balenciaga trackers here, it would just look awful. The next outfit is also simple. Similar color palette to the left example, but he added the black tone to give more of a warm feeling for fall season. This is probably the ideal outfit from girl's perspective at least. The ideal outfit for a date night. It's not too preppy. Like if you wore a dress shirt, I feel like it would have been too preppy. However, this one is not too preppy, but it does look like you put some effort to it. However, the truth is this is one of the easiest outfits to make. Just wear a white t-shirt, put on any light color trousers and put on a blazer. Regardless of which style you're going to build, I highly recommend having one dark color blazer that you really like because it'll save you in a lot of situations. And if you're going for this type of semi-formal outfit, loafers are nice to have, but you can also wear runners. The difference between wearing runners and loafers in this situation, loafers will look more of like a formal event and runners will make the outfit look lighter. That's pretty much it for minimal looks. Now let's see how you can build a closet. So for colors, you're looking at achromatic colors with beige. Instead of beige, you can go for any light colors, like any pastel tones, those are good, but beige is like the color of this season. So I highly recommend it. And I don't see beige going out of trend within the next two years. So if you're looking for a new item, beige is a really good choice. Mixing these achromatic colors with beige or any light colors in general is really easy. So give it a try and see how it looks. And then for shoes, minimal looks, you need derbies and leather sneakers. Derbies are a must have for minimal looks. Basically any clean outfit, derbies will do the job. As I just mentioned, derbies or any type of leather formal shoes give more weight to your outfit. However, if you want to look lighter and like more casual, you definitely need leather sneakers. You can never go wrong with a nice pair of leather sneakers because they age well and as they age, they build a characteristic to it. I highly suggest investing in one nice pair rather than having five cheaper ones because even if you have five, there's only going to be like one or two that you always wear and the other ones will sit in your closet. So instead of that, if you have one nice leather sneakers, you can wear it all the time and people will be like, whoa, whoa, whoa that guy's wearing something nice. And then for body type, I recommend it for people who are not big. Because minimal look is so focused on texture and fit, it's really hard to pull off with bigger body. If you're around average or a bit skinny, there's not much that's going to be different in terms of fit, so you won't have difficulty for minimal looks. Now let's go to the next style. Casual look is more like a university student's outfit. If you're under 25, it's a good outfit that you can wear, but if you're above, it's going to be harder and harder to pull off. Casual look is mostly styled with sweats, basically sweatshirts, sweatpants, and shorts. Something like this one here. As the name itself is really easy to wear, it's comfortable, and it doesn't look formal. You might have already noticed, but if you go wrong with casual look, it looks like your mom bought your outfit. And what differentiates a good outfit versus my mom bought this outfit is these backpack and these layering details. 
So for casual looks, you actually have to pay attention on which accessories you're gonna wear and how the overall fit is gonna be. As you can see, his sweatshirts are oversized, so the sleeve is sitting around his wrist and he's finishing off with the watch here. This is something that's really hard to learn just by looking at it. You have to keep trying different outfits and you'll get the sense of like how you should wear something. And for layering, I'll be making a video on how to style t-shirts, which will also cover layering. So if you want to know that, like and subscribe to my channel. Although casual looks require a decent amount of accessories, one of the benefits of casual looks is that the clothing and the accessory itself is relatively cheaper than other outfits. You won't need leather shoes or any high-end brands because you're actually going for a casual outfit. Now let's see more examples. So this example here is what I mean by you need accessories. He's wearing a grenade necklace. Maybe this isn't the best necklace to wear in North America, but he did pull it off pretty well. And then he has a silver watch, silver rings, and tote bag. If I erase all these accessories, his outfit's just gonna look like a normal kid, basically. However, with these accessories, it looks more like a completed outfit. For the fit, semi-oversized is always a great choice for casual t-shirts. And the pants, the wider the better, especially for shorts. If it's tight around your thighs, it looks really weird and it's just not right. For colors and casual looks, you can essentially pick any colors that you like, which is a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. Because if there's a set color palette for that specific style, you don't have to think about which color to buy. However, for casual looks, you actually have to think through and like you have to be good with colors to play around with colors and casual looks. In terms of his color, he's wearing vivid orange and as he goes down, he's kind of toning it down to like beige to white. And then looking at the next outfit, this is also really casual. This is probably the most casual you can get. Just gray t-shirt with yellow pants and he added this messenger back to make it less boring and he also has these blue details on his pants. There's nothing special about his clothes. Like these you can get for $15 at Uniqlo. This probably like $20. This if you go to like Eddie Bauer, you can get it for like maybe $70. These type of outfits are really easy to wear and cheap. Now let's see what builds a casual outfit. In terms of color, like I said, you can wear any colors that you like. And then for shoes, this is probably one of the biggest advantage, but you don't need much. You just need Converse and runners. If you don't know which shoes to wear for casual looks, just go with different colors of Converse and you'll be totally fine. When I choose Converse, I usually go two sizes up or at least one size up because that looks much better. If you're at a store, definitely try because you'll notice the difference. And then for runners, these are Zoom Vomeros, which are also a good pick for casual looks. New Balance also have a lot of decent options and Nikes are always a good choice. However, for casual looks, I don't recommend Adidas because their profile is really different from Nike and New Balance. It's like the typical NMD duck shape, which I don't think it fits the casual look. And then for the ideal body type, it's really similar to minimal looks. However, it's more forgiving for people who have bigger body. But when it comes to height, it's less forgiving because for casual looks, you're going for a lot of accessories such as bags and rings and necklaces, which are not the best option for short people. That pretty much covers casual looks. Now let's go for a next style, which is dandy looks. How I describe dandy looks is basically 90% of fashion YouTubers outfit. The reason why YouTubers like dandy look is because it's really simple and you can't go wrong with it. And especially for vlogs or like traveling videos or lookbooks, like these are one of the best outfits that you can find. The origin of dandy looks actually go back to the 19th century's Britain, where the middle class person wanted to look more like an attractive upper class royal. And I think it still reflects that history because if you look at dandy looks, it's mostly like a vacation look or a professional outfit, which resembles an upper class lifestyle. And I think that's why females are more attracted to this type of look. So if you look at this outfit, it looks like he's on a vacation and he's urgently going somewhere. Basically a busy man on vacation, which kind of resonate as a successful person. Now let's see more examples to see if this theory holds true. Looking at this example, he looks like a guy who would own a small consulting firm and does like day trading as a side hustle. The reason for that is because he's wearing a semi-formal outfit. Like this outfit, you can go on a vacation and a meeting at the same time. And our instincts call, meeting with vacation equals rich. In terms of outfit itself, there's actually nothing special. He's just wearing dark navy with white and that's everything he has. By going with dark navy, it doesn't look as serious or heavy as black. So having some navy in your closet can diversify your outfit a lot and it's great for summer. For dandy looks, try to go with t-shirts that don't have much detail and it has a clean cut around your neck. In terms of pants, taper pants are always great and shoes, leather sneakers. And the next outfit is more like a messy dandy look, which not a lot of people can pull off. As an Asian, I won't go with this color palette because it just doesn't fit Asian skin tone. But because he has darker skin tone, he can actually blend well with the entire outfit. So for dandy looks, as you can see, just wear blazers, simple inners, and then semi-formal shoes. That's pretty much what it is. And you probably noticed by now that I'm breaking down each outfit into different categories. And once you start looking at fashion in that way, it's really easy to replicate a style. And for colors, try mixing dark navy or black with lighter tones like light blue or white. 
This outfit on the left is probably the easiest outfit to pull off in terms of dandy looks and it's the beginning of dandy looks. So if you have this style at home, try it out and see how it looks. One really important, probably the most important thing to keep in mind is that hairstyle is part of your outfit. Not a lot of people realize this, but depending on the hairstyle, the outfit can entirely change. And the best outfit on one person can look really awful on the other. And that is mostly because of hairstyle. Now let's see what builds a dandy outfit. In terms of color, you can basically go with any colors, but for starters, I recommend going with darker colors mixing with lighter tones. Once you get comfortable with colors, you can mix a lot of things. Like dandy looks have a really diverse color palette. You can basically wear any type of color. But before you get too much in colors, try with the simple ones. For shoes, imagine semi-formal shoes and that's pretty much what you need to wear for dandy looks. Loafers and simple leather sneakers are always a good choice and boat shoes are also a good pick for summer outfits. In terms of ideal body shape, you can probably imagine but fit body is the best for dandy looks. If you have big belly, I definitely don't recommend dandy looks because it will ruin the entire balance of the outfit. And if you're too skinny and you want to try dandy looks, try blazers with shoulder pads so that you can kind of hide your body shape. Okay, so that was it for my second lecture on Fashion 101. Subscribe to my channel so that you can get more fashion tips like this. I will continue to break down each style so that I can provide easy styling tips for you. I hope you got some good information out of this video. And if you want any recommendation on your style or your outfit, don't hesitate to leave a comment or send me an email. Thank you so much for watching my videos and have a wonderful day. Bye.